I'm joined by fashion and style editor of Simply You magazine, Louise Hills, who's doubling down on the denim. Welcome, Louise. Thank you. So let's start by talking jeans. What's in style and what should we know? Well, now that it's finally cold, you can put your denim on. So I brought a couple of trends to talk about. The first one is flared jeans. Okay, I'm not convinced about <laughs> flares. Can any shape wear them? I always feel they make me look well, huge. Well, you've just got to be careful. I've chosen this really nice dark indigo colour, which I think is an easier way to kind of segue into the trend. I would style this with something really simple like a black polo. And something to really keep in mind is what shoes you're wearing. You want to make sure that the height is there and you're not having a saggy jean at the bottom. Okay, you're not tucking your flares into your boots, no, are you? No, definitely all. not. That is not a look we're going to. Okay, so what about the boyfriend jeans? Are boyfriend jeans, of course. And what better brand to do it than Levi? This is a really relaxed look. I would suggest wearing this with like a slouchy knit or a nice oversized shirt. A key tip for this is you want to fold them up at the bottom because if you can't see your ankles, you're just going to swamp in them. Okay. So where should they be sitting on you? Should they be sitting on your waist or sort of like below? A bit below. Hips? I mean, it's a really relaxed style. This mm -hmm. isn't a high-waisted look. Okay. What should you be thinking about when you're, um, when you're, um, oh, there's the celebrities there with their, oh, their boyfriend jeans on. They're really rocking them. What should you be thinking about when you're buying jeans? What are some things to keep in mind? I would keep in mind what your body shape is. Um, you know what you feel comfortable in. If you're, you know, a little bit curvier, you'd want to go with something like a brand like NYDJ. These are the most amazing jeans. If you've never worn jeans before, wear this brand. I have worn those, and they are they lift. Oh, they and lift they, and they flatten. Yeah, it's they do. It's a cross stitch technology that they have in them. I've chosen these as a skinny look because they literally will make you look skinny. Um, Great place to start. It wouldn't matter what your body shape is or anything. NY DJ could fit that. So skinny jeans are the ones that go right tight, right down yeah, to the ankle. Really tight, as you can see with the slebs here. Look really good when you've got like a sky high heel with them, and you really want to kind of up your look, have a statement top on, maybe a bit of sequin, but really dress this up and have fun with it. Should they be a long top or a short top? What works best? I think with a skinny jean like this, you really want to keep it a little bit longer and kind of cover your crotch area. You don't want to have tight on the bottom, tight on the top. Okay. That's probably very sound advice for a whole lot of fashion issues, <laughs> really, isn't it? Just cover some things and, like, less is more sometimes. Less or more is, is more. less, or whatever it is. But okay, not so in this case. So with distressed denim, you want to go crazy with it. I mean, the more rips, the more shredding, the better. Even if you've got a boyfriend jean and you're over it, Get out some sandpaper, get out the scissors and cut it up. This I mean, this is an awesome trend. It's quite casual though. I wouldn't be wearing this in the office, nine till five. So actually sandpaper your own jeans? Definitely. Get out the emery board. Carve See, up some shapes. This really cracks me up because all people have to do is give this to my children for maybe a week and I could distress. I could go into business distressing jeans for people. There's a holiday Because that's what they look like. It's like. I can get jeans like that. In fact, my jeans are like that just to wear and tear. <laughs> well, that's the whole <laughs> point of the look. It's supposed to be like you've had these for years. Okay. Now, I want to talk to you about something that you, you are, you, you're <laughs> a believer in, but I have to be convinced. Double denim. The Canadian tuxedo? Yeah, you see, because I still think of a man I worked for in the 90s and we called him chambray shirt man because he wore a chambray <laughs> shirt tucked into his waist high denim jeans and that's what I have when I think double denim but it is oh, a trend. It's a total trend. I mean look how these women are rocking it. I love the combination of having two different colours of denim especially mixing something like this light washed jacket with a really nice dark denim. It looks awesome but you've got to have the confidence to wear this. It's a very polarizing look. A lot of people don't like it. So don't put it on and feel shy about it. You've got to put it on and own it. Okay, own it like you're still in the 90s. <laughs> it does look good. And I'll take you, are the, you are the design person. You're the style person. I'll take your advice and maybe I will actually try rocking some double oh, denim give it a at go. some stage in the future. Hey, Louise, it's been a pleasure. Oh, thanks for having Thank me. Thank you so much.